Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 82 of Darwell20's Let's Play of FTB Expert Skyblock. Uh, today I am cooking up all kinds of stuff. Did a little bit off camera that I want to start by showing you guys, uh, because not terrible. Uh, but I'm mostly focusing on the Ostrom space plating. As promised, between episodes I've been making a ton of this stuff. Uh, where am I at with Ostrom at this point? I am at 100 space plating blocks so far. Um, now if we, if we remember our math, right, we needed, um, let's see, I need one of these, so I need 24 space plating blocks, uh, and I need two of these, so I need 66 times two, I need 156, so we're about two-thirds of the way there, um, and if we look, we've also got exactly 56 lead plates remaining. So I made all, remember, the lead plates I needed. So basically between episodes, I've been kicking off about 40 Ostrom space platings uh, at a time here. Uh, which just, you know, they, uh, they don't take terribly long to make at this point. And uh, I've made a few upgrades around the base just to make life a little bit easier. First off, I definitely made some netherite magnets. Uh, and the way I made those... First, I set up auto crafting for them. Uh, we just need netherite plates, no big deal. Osmium plates, no big deal. Fluctuated magnets we already had. Resonant ender, I set up a new uh, mixer over here to be able to handle that because I was full on pattern inserts. So this guy was full. So now I've got resonant ender sitting there and future um, things will work. Uh, and then in addition to that, uh, for blizz powder, I went ahead and just spawned six blizzes uh, inside here with the with the thing and then i got uh six of them I, I i made enough to make a blizz data model so not a big deal there either and that's easy peasy so i was just some like off camera like i figured you guys didn't need to see me upgrade this what i did do though is um i needed to add a lot more advanced diesel generators so these guys are very um the the fluctuated or the netherite magnets use a lot of rotational force so i've got five diesel generators here where before i had two remember i only had two and it was enough to keep the the thing running at full speed i've now got five and i'm just below the full speed threshold so like not quite full speed i didn't feel like putting a sixth down there because i thought that wouldn't be really necessary uh but that said we are producing enough liquid oxygen to keep you know everybody satisfied i'm pretty sure we're keeping up uh with our demands for force infused diesel so i'm just gonna kind of let it all rip it's all doing a good job i would say everybody's doing well uh and that by the way gets me like right around 60 to 67 65 to 67 somewhere in there uh thousand dollar for per tick where before i was in like the 20 to 23 range remember um and and to the point where i had to get rid of my cube there because my cube was a bottleneck so yeah not too shabby right all around pretty good um and then i've got you know obviously a few wiry things running around the base doing their job uh might might eventually just get rid of those in in lieu of flux but eh whatever we'll get to it it's all good I do kind of like, I kind of like the wires a little bit, a little, a little fun, a little interesting, a little neat. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that's what I've been working on. Just a bunch of off camera crafting a whole bunch of Ostrom space plating, and then every time we get one batch complete, I just knock out another. So at this point, uh, we're actually doing pretty good on power, as you can see. Like we're sitting around the 434 million FE stage. Um, we are. I don't want to say breaking even, but like close, if I'm constantly producing flux infused or, or Ostrium space plating, right? If I'm constantly producing this, I am finding myself uh, breaking close to even on power demands, um, mostly because the Ostrium space plating, that last step is what's most expensive in terms of forge energy. Um, and like there's a lot of prereq crafting to get to it so while it's making all the other stuff we build up our buffer and then when it starts to craft those at the end we start draining out the buffer so definitely was worth upgrading the magnets because it means i can kind of continuously craft these without too much of a problem um so i basically just wanted to start the episode off by showing you some off-camera stuff that i did um i also sped this up we were getting low on um silver uh, as you can see so I sped this dude up. I just increased the speed of him a little bit so he could handle that better. 
uh, increase the speed of the production of gravel, um, as well as some other things that may or may not be a problem. I don't know. We'll see. I'm not too worried about it. We'll let it all rip. All right. So is Ostrom batch done yet? Uh, yeah, 40. Nice. Let's get 40 more. Can still make it. Nice. Yep, so this is basically what I've been doing, right? Throw 10 in here, throw 40 in here, and that's going to be another 10. And then we should only have 46 more to go. So we're cruising. Uh, what I do want to work on a little bit on camera, though, while this is all happening, is I'd like to work towards getting the netherite gear that I'm going to need, uh, the, the helmet and stuff. I don't think this is going to be too bad to get, but I figured I might as well knock it out. Uh, so netherite helmet needs what? Uh, you and a diamond helmet? Okay, so I just need, like, basically diamond armor, right? Um, and then leggings. And then boots. Cool. And then this is done, and that's good times. And then this guy's making some netherite ingots for me. And we're probably waiting on some... This thing is what we're waiting on at the moment. Let's make that uh, gold thing uh, a little bit of a priority there. There you go. That'll get my netherite done sooner than later. Nice. Now I'm pretty sure, did I not have one of these? I guess I didn't. Smithing table? I feel like I probably had a smithing table at some point, but I don't know where it is. And this is where I would expect it to be, like right in this spot. Oh look, at, we got a big squish today. Hooray! You know what I could do? I made some overclockers. How about you extract a little bit faster? And then on the south side, you extract a little bit faster? See, that's going to make it kind of run a little bit more continuously, uh, which I think is probably smart. Okay. So we can get our iron plates, we can get our smithing table. Again, there's probably one of those laying around here somewhere. I just don't know where. And let's put you away for the minute. Doot, doot. So you, and I'm going to go on a limb and assume I'm going to need netherite for all the things. Hooray! Cover me in debris. So a netherite space helmet and then a netherite space suit needs just a few bits and bobs. You're also going to need some oxygen gear. And then you're just going to need some iron rods. There we go. Sweet. Looking good, right? And then just some of this. So you have oxygen in you already, and you're not transferring it, are you? Rude. There you go. And now for you. And then finally for you. So the dash plate should be pretty quick and easy, right? And 
And let's make sure... Oh, are you filling up? Oh, probably because of these guys? Yeah, that would be my guess. They're probably filling her up. All right, so now that's full. That's full. You guys can go back in your curio slots. And then you're ready. Yep. And then you're ready. Maybe. Nice. Beat the heat. Netherite spacesuit ready to go. So remember, I can um, now breathe and survive the heat on Venus and Mercury with this spacesuit. That said, I'd prefer to get this, but we're going to need some Mercury stone before we can make that happen, right? Uh, but not a big deal. But we'll be ready uh, for that spacesuit when the time comes. Let's get ourselves a couple receivers ready to go. That shouldn't be too bad these days. Now that said, how about LDPE sheets? That is polyethylene and latex rubber. I should be able to automate that, right? I would think. That's a fluid encapsulator it was, right? Yes. So that would be you. And then control click, and that's cool beans. I think he's mixing the polyethylene that we need, so that's kind of nice. Now, in addition to that, we should probably machine frame up some automation, right? So you're just, you're not terrible, but I know those quartz dudes are probably going to be a nuisance, but we'll see, right? Um, so you know how to make most of this stuff. You don't know how to make overcharged iron sheets? That's surprising to me. You know how to make overcharged iron, but not the sheets. Okay, fair enough. Where's all my, there they are, sweet. Okay, uh, now the last piece of this puzzle would obviously be these guys. Now I can quantum assembler them, so that's probably the route I'm going to take. Now you don't know how to make this or this, but you're about to learn. So you're gonna go in there, and then you're gonna be this. And as for treated wood planks, eh, we'll see what happens. I haven't decided how I'm going to play that yet. If I if I need to, that is. So you go in there. Quantum Assembler, I think, was this guy, right? Yep. And that can go in this setup. Because I added my magnet recipe, I needed to add another dude there. Pattern Provider. Okay. So now I should have no problem making what I got to make. Sweet. Now we're gonna want two of these, right? One for Venus and one for Mercury. So let's be prepared to do both. And then we're also gonna want a couple of flux points. That's not a problem. Dude, I love it all working. I love it all just crafting. So cool. Now, how's my Ostrom doing? Uh, we got our 40 already. Nice. So let's get 40 more. All right. So that's two receivers. I can do up... 40 and 10 and then you guys go away cool so we've got our spacesuit uh we've got that um what do we need by way of um what do we need by way of rocketry um because we need to have all the things right i might i kind of I, I did i recycle my last spaceship where is my spaceship? Did I recycle it? Tier 2 rocket? Maybe I already recycled it and used whatever components came out of it. Because when I get this, I get space plating blocks. Yeah, I've got 
64 space plating blocks. So I assume that that's cool. Well, those are decorative space plating blocks. Have I been using them at all? I don't think so. So where is my rocket? Do I have to like go back and look at the videos to find out what I did with my rocket? Because I feel like I would have put my rocket somewhere. You know, smart. Here it is, tier two rocket. Hooray, I found it. Go direwolf. Woohoo. Look at all this other junk that's in here too. Neato. Can I just put these space platings and dust space plating away? I don't see why not, right? I can always make more if I need it. And then that can be used for making my next batch of ostroms. Cause yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna wanna recycle you. Okay, and that'll get me some space plating blocks. See, I knew I would've put it somewhere meaningful to me. And that chest was uh, my first thought. And then the remaining space plating blocks. That's cool. So you're going to chill here, space plating blocks. Perfect. Okay, should we start working towards the ship? I think yes. And maybe I can kick off another 40 of these real quick. I think I can. And that would be neat. Do it up two sets at a time. Booyah. That's actually going to get me very close to being ready. So let's get our tier 3 rocket ready to roll. So for that... A tier 3 rocket. We're going to need our nose cone and our rocket fins, right? So let's get you ready, nose cone. Nose cone is going to need you, you, and then we're also going to need some Ostrom blocks, by the way. So you just need the 31 and a lightning rod. Go. Schematic. Oh, right. I need to position it. Boop. Go. Nice. And then while that's working, uh, we're going to need four light and three heavy engineering blocks. not mistaken Aha. on its way nice all right so now you come out you are programmed to be the rocket fin. And there's your light and heavy engineering box. And now you can go. <clears throat> nice. Okay, break, replace, thing. Loving it. Okay, so there's your four of those dudes. Um, there's your nose cone. We're also going to need six Ostrom blocks. Which, we might be getting a little bit low on Ostrom, but not terrible. We may need to run our digital miner, but I'm sure I can manage if I need to. Let's start with um, making some of the components that we're going to want here, right? Because uh, that shouldn't be impossible. So if I want some of you guys placed in there, 
let's take a look at Ostrom tanks. So we're going to need 27 dynamic tanks and 12, what is that, quart hardened glass? 12 hardened glass, I'm going to assume. And two extra, of, well, actually three extra of you. Okay. So to make the tank, we're going to need 27 dynamic tanks. Got it. Okay. So it's like a three by three. Pretty sure I have to do these manually, right? Because there isn't uh That and then... Correct. And then one, two, three here. And then it should just be a matter of going up the top. Sweet. And then boop. That's pretty cool. And then as soon as that's done crafting, thank you. I'm going to kick off another batch of these and these. And then that guy goes here. Now for the next piece, which is this, we're going to need 20 heavy engineering for radiators. So one more set of you. Shouldn't be too bad. But I guess you're busy stamping out some steel plates for me. What else am I going to need? A redstone engineering, a 64k crafting storage, and a light engineering. Okay. A 64k crafting storage is going to need a 64k ME component, right? and a crafting unit. That shouldn't be too terrible. All right, so there's the 20 of those. There's the four of those that we're gonna need, right? Uh, what else did we need? A redstone engineering block. And then a light engineering block. Not too shabby. Dude, how cool is it that all of this is auto-craftable? Right? Loving it. Very, very pleased. Okay, so let's get to building this dude, right? So um, let's single layer it, right? So on the first layer, it's just gonna be a three by three empty in the middle. And then what was that, all um, all heavies? I'm going to assume yes, because we only have, yeah. So like, it would be like this. Okay. And then layer two is going to be 
these guys on top of that and then heavies in the middle again. Okay. Uh, and then above that, the 64 crafting in the middle, the radiators, and then in the corners will be more of these purple dudes. Right? And then the radiators here. And then the 64K crafting component. Goes in the middle. Okay. Cool. And then above that, redstone with those on the sides, and then light with those on the sides. Redstone with those on the sides, and then light with those on the sides. Cool. And boom. Nice. First time's the charm. Always very proud of myself when I get it the first time. Always very proud of myself when I get it the first time. Perfect. Okay, so you go there, and that's all cool. Now we just need our last Ostrom space engine, uh, which we're very close to having, right? Um, so we've got those 10. And then you're working on just a little bit more crafting for me, aren't you? So are we choking on power or time? Uh, power. Power would be the thing we are choking on. See, we got a lot of power coming in, but still not quite enough. Now, in fairness, I did, um, by giving it some prerequisite items, I sped up the rate at which it's able to craft. But, I mean, it's not bad. Look how quickly we're filling up this thing. Not, not bad at all. So how about we do this, folks? Let's wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next episode. Between episodes, I will craft the last of the Ostrom tanks. So I'll get all the crafting complete. And then next episode, it's off to Mercury and then Venus. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Let's come back next time and explore some new planets. For now, take it easy.